Hello, I am Kamvuddin. Here is 8th April chapter Control and Give Up Your Angry Behavior from my book 365 Days of Bliss and Self Growth. Speak when you are angry and you will make the best speech you will ever regret. Ambrose Beers Consider how much more often suffer from your anger and grief than from those very things for which you are angry and grieved. Marcus Antonius Do not teach your children never to be angry. Teach them how to be angry. Lemon Abbott Experience with anger may leave you with the idea that all anger is bad and actually it is, if it is out of our control. Anger is for our benefit and for our safety. But when it is out of our control, it creates various problems, various health problems, mental problems and so many problems of life. Anger is like a burning coal you carry in your hands to throw it on others. But who will be burnt? Of course you will be burnt because you are carrying it. So anger is not beneficial to you it, if it is out of control. So you should have control of your anger. It has purpose in our life. It has taught us so many things. It creates healthier relationship if it is under control. Once a person acknowledges his anger and determines to take responsibility for his action and words, rational alternative courses of action can be examined. Remember, all of our emotions are God-given. Anger is also for our safety, as I have told you. It's useful when it is properly controlled. The deciding factor is whether we control them or they control us. Keep discussion and tone under your control. It should be amicable and friendly. Do not trigger your anger. Do not let anger start. Nip it in the bud. Try to resolve your anger fast. Try to resolve your anger as soon as possible because delay creates problems. There are certain things you can do to control your anger. If you are the least bit annoyed, stop doing anything. Just do nothing. Exercise is useful. Exercise is the best way to get rid of anger. Before you open your mouth, pause and think, then speak. Say calmly what you want to say. Speak softly and never raise your voice. If your partner says your voice is loud, it is. Have control of your emotions. Drinking alcohol is associated with anger, so control it. Never hit, punch, tap or push your partner. 
never walk away from the situation deal with it make eye contact when addressing your partner observe if your criticism is constructive do not make threats what you decide do like your responsibilities you are to suffer most when you are angry control yourself not your partner it's okay to disagree with your partner agree to differ when you disagree find facts in discussion and never argue when your partner asks question answer if you hurt your partner apologize tell about your own feelings ask about theirs do not assume your partner's mind ask listen and accept the answer you get if your partner asks for something give it hear your partner's request your partner's feelings are most important tell someone about your feelings and ask theirs do not expect your partner or other persons to read your mind pay attention to your thoughts and feelings articulate your thoughts writing down on a paper accept what they want do not accuse your partner of being selfish sensitivity is a trait you need to cultivate respect your partner and respect yourself